Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ryan Makes Sense. This is my weekly Robin Hood challenge. This is week 24, going into week 25. Um, I do apologize that I have been a little bit absent. It is the summer here in Vegas and we are getting tons of family coming here. We do have a lot of travel planned, so I apologize for falling off on these Robin Hood weekly videos. But uh, let's go ahead and dive right into my Robin Hood portfolio and talk about the S&P 500. I do also want to mention that since these weekly videos are becoming a little bit far and few between, I will go in more detail of the stocks, my reasoning, what I see coming, and uh, just go a little bit more in depth, just because I'm not really sure when my next weekly video will be. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much. If you're not, please reconsider. But I do have a community channel or a community tab inside of my channel where I do post my buys and my sells when they happen. So um, if you've been a follower, you've been seeing my uh, updates there. Let's check my year to date gain or loss this year. It is sitting at 5.18%. <clears throat> now that is good, but the S&P 500 is on pace. It's at almost 20%. Um, I'll post it right right here i think it's at 14 percent now but it's going on 20 percent. so um again if you're not comfortable picking your own stocks the s p 500 just investing in that weekly is a surefire way to not have any emotion and just average dollar cost average your basis the s p 500 s p 500 does return between 7 and 12 percent annually so Keep that in mind some years are down some years are up but on average it's seven to twelve percent uh let's review my stocks so disney was my free one aey is down 32 percent hmc which is honda motor corps is up 17.8 percent uh krt carrot packaging is up 19.5 percent and my play studios is up one percent so um let's talk about ticker symbol aey really quick so if you've been following this stock you will know that on thursday after hours over 1 million shares were bought and nothing happened the next day <clears throat> there were people um, on stock twits who were basically watching it for a pump um and a dump essentially but it never pumped and it never dumped there was just 1 million shares purchased after hours so the reasoning why I think that is bullish or good for the stock is number one, there was no cataclysmic move that set off people's radars, meaning someone just bought a million shares after hours and it didn't trigger any large uh, intraday traders to then take a position, thus driving up the share price, you know, watching a huge gain happen and then having the stock dump. Um, instead, what happened was we had a million shares bought after hours and then the next day opened and people were frustrated because it went from 72 back to 62, 64. Um, so, and that volume was uh, not that much, actually. Let me see if I can see it here. Um, one week, I guess. Uh, does it show the volume? Oh, where it's not showing on Robinhood, unfortunately. Um, that's a bummer. Let me go to Finviz really quick. Um, let's go to Finviz really quick and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Alrighty, so I am on finviz.com, the world's greatest website, not a sponsor. Uh, we're going to type in ticker symbol AEY because that is the stock I'm talking to boot. Um, and I want to show you that 1 million volume because you might think I'm crazy now that I couldn't find it on Robinhood. <laughs> Do -do -do. Let me move my big ol' head. Alright. Um, okay, you can see the screen. Uh, 
Is it? Okay, I think it's enough. So you see where I'm highlighting here and where I'm not highlighting. You see this volume? Whoops. It's picking my mouse up. Okay. So right here where my mouse is circling is the volume. So watch what that is right about here. 1.78 million. That's pretty crazy. That's the most volume we've seen in quite a while. For the week, it's going to be a really ugly candle, but it should show a little right there. So 2.6 million in volume this week. The last time we saw that was 2.6 million, 2.6 million, 2.6 million, 2.6 million. Okay, right here, 3.5 million right here. Before that was 25 million. Before that was 134,000. So um, if you've been watching my Robinhood videos, you know that I think a catalyst is August. Now you might be asking, why do I think that? Well, someone purchased $25 million worth of stock between $1.48 and $2.20. Now, let's just see, uh, you guys can see my screen. So between $2, so 1.48 plus 2.20, divided by two, so $1.84, we're just gonna take the average, times 25 million shares. Someone spent $46 million hairs worth of this stock. There's only 8 million shares available. What is going on? And since this huge date, these big purchases, so not only was it here, but so 25 mil plus 3.5 mil plus half a mil right here, there has been no such volume of this, this block selling. And you know when I think this block is gonna sell? After August. You know why? Because that's when they can take advantage of the long-term capital gains, which means they're gonna be taxed far less. Do they know anything? I don't know. I don't know anything. Um, this company has been strong. They just had a bad quarter. So I, I really can't, I don't know. I don't have any more information than you do, honestly. So someone just purchased $1 million, 1 million shares after hours. Um, it could have been over 1 million. I don't recall what the volume was before that surge, but essentially, um, someone picked some up and then the next day there was no, someone didn't dump a million shares. So that's, that's my ongoing thesis is August. I am anticipating we'll see something happen because the person who bought back in August hasn't sold. And if they did, they haven't sold because there's been no equivalent selling volume. So watching around August, I think I will actually end up buying not this next week, not week 25, Week 26, depending on how the monthly candle goes, if we can get to around 67 cents, let me just double check the candles here. If we can get to around 67 cents, I'll buy more. I'll buy more here and probably in my personal um, account as well, because I do own 30,000 shares at like $1.30. So I'm down like 50 cents, 50% on 30,000 shares. I'm down like 15, 20,000 doll hairs. So I'll put some more in. I'll buy some more. Um, this stock has been under a dollar before and it has recovered. I think now we're seeing something a little bit more manipulati, manipulative -y. So we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's my uh, thesis there. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back into my other holdings. Um, I guess I don't need to show my Robinhood account again, but I'm just going to look for reference. Honda Motor Corp. I only own two shares of that, but we can look at it here. Let's just take a peek. 
Um, nice monthly candle right here. Huge. It went from 28 to 3250. Um, let's take a look at the week. Oh, hugely bearish weekly candle. I do think we'll probably go back down to 30, 28, maybe. We'll see. Um, but it's been on a nice tear. We do have a lot of volume right here as well, so maybe not as bearish as I think. But uh, this one has just been overdue for a long-term move. So, um, yeah, I'm up, uh, I don't remember how much I'm up, 15%, per 18%. Um, next one is Parrot Packaging. This one's exciting. This one I bought at 14 and I've been adding. <clears throat> Look at this monthly candle right here. Ooh. Or this is weekly. Woo. It closed. Oh man, it's 1830 is the resistance. Once it goes up there, it'll be like 19, 20, 21, 22, and then break out of all time highs. We are seeing some good momentum here too. So uh, on the monthly, look at this. Just monster. I got in 14. I got in like right here, you guys. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, so this one's just looking good. Honestly, it's undervalued today and it's undervalued in the future. So very cool, very cool. Um, institutions are picking some up here positively. It's a 5 million share flow, meaning it's going to move up or down pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, just really, really cool. Um, and they're growing. Total revenue is down trailing 12 months so far, but uh, de in December, it looks like we should exceed our revenue and we're already beating our profits. So this is just awesome. So this one is, I'm just going to continue to hold it. I, I don't know when I'm going to sell, but I'm thinking like 25. We'll see when uh, momentum slows down. But yeah, this one's been amazing. Um, next we have... MYPS. If you know me, you know this is my largest holding. I own buttloads of this stock. Um, and if you've been paying attention to the daily chart, which if you're not, don't worry because I don't really talk about it, but um, I think this company is going to be revolutionary just because, and okay, so I think this company is going to be a transformative player. Like how Enphase was a transformative player to inverters, I feel like this company is going to be a transformative player to casinos and casino rewards or comps, compensations, whatever. Um, so you get, for playing this app, it's free. You earn tokens in the game to then trade for free rooms at hotels free travel that you exchange, uh, food, drinks, entertainment, products, services, massages, like electric bikes. So this is uh, my number one play. Um, there was a ton of volume after, or today. Um, $3 million worth was traded after or right after the close, I believe, today. Um, let me just confirm. Shoot, shoot. It says I'm still screen sharing. Okay. So just going really quickly. So look at today. Look at today's candle and volume. Pretty amazing. And then I'll go back to the monthly. Yeah, actually, it's stuck on the monthly. So you guys see this candle right here. This is our monthly candle. It's at 6.13 million in volume. And we're only halfway through the month. Last month's volume was 9.5 mil. We're about to be on a third. Six. We're about to be on a third consecutive month of growing volumes month over month. Um, and we are above the 20 SMA on the monthly, which is amazing. Look at this pattern here. This is an ascending triangle. Um, 
basically here's our resistance here's our support right here and look at this freaking daily candle we had oh we had a look at that volume this volume candle right here we had five times the regular volume today and look at this we haven't seen a green candle this big since i don't know let's look at the monthly it's back into a golden cross which is amazing if you don't know what a golden cross is go check look at this green candle we haven't seen a green candle like this until back and we were in june 3rd of last year and then before that was may and then before that was also may so there's one two three other three or four other times where the volume was this much so i think this weekly candle means we're about to head up but we're gonna see um i don't wanna get too excited but I have really good, uh, really good vibes about this stock over the next few years. Um, I wish I was adding more right now, but um, you know, it's life. You can't when things are low, when prices are low. I also just switched jobs recently, so I'm trying to uh, build up my funds. Um, just bought a vacation as well to the Caribbean, so. Yeah, I'm just ranting now. Anyway, we made it through our Robinhood video. Uh, next week, again, it's $25 I'm putting in every week. I highly recommend you do something similar. If you are not comfortable looking at your own stocks and you want to become comfortable, please look at my videos. If you want to do something like this where you're putting in something every week and not having any emotion tied to it, investing in the S&P 500 from 1916 all the way till today has provided a 7 to 12% returns every year on average so um yeah check it out uh do some research and i do i'm just following back up with the uh volume today yep so 3.9 million dollars were traded after hours today which is i think a hundred thousand shares no yep hundred thousand shares times 490 what's the price no 468 it was a million shares, basically. So someone bought a million shares worth today of MYPS. Anyway, I'm done talking. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing. If you're not really sold yet on if you want to subscribe, check out my other videos, leave a comment, hit the like button. Have a great week or weekend, and I'll see you soon.